What's up guys, Tech of Vid 6 and this is the Friday Weekly Tech Show. So let's get into the news. The Xbox One will now allow you to sell your games to GameStop and give them to your friends now and there's no more restrictions, it's just like having the Xbox 60 with the game system is gonna be the same thing when it comes to games you can use games and stuff like that. There will also no longer be a twenty four hour check in. Instagram has now added a new update where you can now put in 15 second video just like Vine but it is longer and I sort of like it better than Vine. In the first 24 hours Instagram has 55 million video uploads. That's pretty a lot of uploads. Samsung is now offering the Samsung Galaxy S4 in Arctic Blue, Purple Meringue, Red Aurora, Brown Autumn, and pink twilight so those are the new colors that you'll be getting if you, um in certain country, um areas of the world for the samsung galaxy s4 i don't know if it's out in the u.s yet i'm not sure next we'll be talking about the samsung galaxy camera nx it has lte two gigabytes of ram 16 gigabytes of external storage that can be increased with a micro sd card it has a 4.8 inch lcd display a 1.6 gigahertz quad core processor and 20 megapixel camera on the front so what it, what the camera is, is basically it's a phone uh, it's a device that runs android and also is a camera like a sh sh point and shoot kind of camera at the same exact time and that's what these cameras are about stop playing with these niggas get on that grimy shit yes sir let them know it's still me millie nigga Heard dj airway yeah Oh money, oh money, new work, new work. You can smell a crack aroma on my new shirt. Yeah, one shooter, shooter. two hearse. hearse. Did them dirty, put them niggas on the news first. first. Next, we're talking about the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. Zoom has a 60 megapixel rear facing camera, a 10 times optical zoom, it has all of the S4 features like watch on and S health and stuff like that. Has a 4.3 inch display, a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, and that's all the specifications of that device. Gangsta, 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 gangsta. <laughs> and this is just a mixtape. Well, it's a little more than that. Damn. It's more like a message. Gangsta, 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 gangsta. More like a change for the better. And this is just a mixtape. It's more of a dedication. Damn. Next, we're talking about the Atif Book 9 Plus as a quad-core Haswell processor for 12 hours of battery, a 13.3 inch touchscreen display with a 3200 3, by 1800 resolution display, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 250 gigabytes of SSD storage, a micro, micro a, HDMI and a mini VGA ports, also USB 3.0 ports, and has Windows 8. That looks like a pretty good device, laptop sort of thing. I'll pictures of the Atif Book 9 Plus right now. Next, we're talking about the Atif Book 9 Lite. It has Windows 8. A 13.3 inch display that has a 1366 by 768 resolution display, 4GB of RAM, 8.5 hours of battery life, it has up to 1 terabyte of HDZ storage, it has HDMI out port, a two, um, USB 2.0 ports, quad core processor clocked at 1.4 GHz. Those are all the specifications of the 8 to Book 9 Lite. I'll pinch out the device for right now. See, I'm an A1 type of guy. Uh oh. I crash uh -oh. A1 hoes. Uh -oh. Rock A1 clothes. True. Drop A1 whips. True. And still pour A1 sauce on my shit. <laughs> I come from the bottom. I'm crushing all these hoes. Rocking all this ice. Selling all these hoes. Nigga, I done did that twice, so I'm just riding around in my rows. Next, we're talking about the 8 of 1. 5 is a 21.5 inch displ um, display that runs at 1920 by 1080 resolution display. It has Windows 8, a AMD A6 quad core processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, up to 1 terabyte of storage, a 720p HD web camera, 2 USB 3.0s, 2 USB um, 2.0s, HDMI out and in, 
a three point um three in one card reader and an external port and that is like a desktop kind of thing computer and I'll pictures of that right now. Yeah. Dramatic, nigga. MMG, nigga. <laughs> Next, I'll be talking about the Samsung Activan Tab 3. It is a 10.1 inch display. It has a 1366 by 768 pixel resolution. Front facing camera and rear facing camera both shoot in 720p HD recording. It has an Atom processor, full version of Windows 8 and S Pen. Launches in August for $700, but includes a keyboard and doubles as a kickstand and a case. And I'll pictures of that device right now. Walk with my tits, walk, walk with my tits. Walk with my tits, walk, walk with my tits. Walk with my tits, walk with my tits. Next, we're talking about the Blue Life Play. It has a high end. It is a high end spec phone, but is very cheap, and it, it only costs at two hundred and twenty nine dollars unlocked. It features a one point two gigahertz Quadro processor, as a four point seven inch seven twenty p display, a gigabytes, um, a megapixel ten eighty p rear facing camera, Android four point two, which has some kind um some features. From blue on it as an add on, but it's mostly stock Android. Comes with a case and has screen protectors, so that also comes in the box when you buy the device. So it has the phone and has case and has and it's very cheap and has screen protectors and it's a great package. So you basically buy the phone, you're set for um two years or how long, however, however long you have the device. So that's pretty good. All pictures of the blue. Life play right now. And I'm the beat man. Hey, daddy, yo. Hey. Little chick gonna ask me. Hey, hey. Millie, how I get it fatter? Let go. I'm trying to oozle and oozle sandwich. Hey, oh, I'm man. your girlfriend. You better get up. Bad minds on the low, cause I'm a hitter. I'm at her on Twitter. So, recently, the, um, a Asus rep has leaked unofficial specifications for the next seven, and these are the following a seven inch. LED 1980 by 1200 resolution display, a Snapdragon 600 quad core for CPU, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabyte of storage, and a 16 gigabyte model that will run at $229. And a, th a 32 gigabyte has not been released at this price point yet. There's also um, a 5 megapixel rear facing camera and a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera, and we'll have Android 4.3, which is an has not yet been released, so we'll have to find out what that is. And a 4,000 milliamp battery, and should possibly be being released by the end of Q3, which is the end of July. So hopefully they will be seeing that device pretty soon, and maybe I'll have a, um, a review coming out of that and such things like that. And that's all the news I have for you today. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos in a while. I've sort of been on and off from making videos. I put up one yesterday. And um, I'm going to be putting up a lot more videos and overhauling this channel as much as possible. Vlog has a video coming out very soon. Also, I also have a update video up for this channel coming out very soon. Also, and hopefully stay tuned to that. I'll probably have a giveaway also coming up pretty soon for you guys. And that's pretty much it. So make sure to like this video, share on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, subscribe, like this video if you like this video, give it a nice thumbs up, and. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.